Now, steel giant ArcelorMittal is striving to clean up and turn around Italy's most poisonous steel plant, while activists and residents urge its closure. Experts cited by prosecutors say 11,500 people have died from toxic emissions over seven years. On Italy's southern coast, rock climbers scale a giant canopy in Taranto to build the world's biggest iron ore park cover. Steel giant ArcelorMittal strives to clean up and turn around the country's most polluting plant. Beyond the factory lie the sea and sandy beaches, though only hardy souls dare to swim or eat mussels from there. The site in southern Italy's Zulia region, formerly owned by Ua, is at the heart of a huge legal battle. At the beginning of the year, there was condemnation by the European Court of Human Rights, which said that these decrees did not guarantee the health of citizens. And therefore, the state should have taken note of the sentence and acted in a different way from where it did. ArcelorMittal is spending 1.2 billion euros to curb pollution at the site by 2024. It was given a legal immunity to bring the plant up to environmental standards, but the Italian parliament revoked that in June. This is the first important action being taken. It is to avoid, finally to avoid, prohibit or prevent any dust flying due with conditions that we may have in the region. So this is a program that will be 80% complete in 2020. As Taranto suffers from record unemployment, some feel everything should be done to save the steel works. But ArcelorMittal has struggled to win hearts, where the company pledges to slash dioxin and dust emissions to below EU limits, they cannot be eliminated entirely. Families have been hit by abnormal levels of tumors and respiratory diseases. There are two possible causes, pesticides or dioxins. Since we do not live near fields and are careful about hygiene of fruits and vegetables, impossible. On the other hand, we live next to the factory that has been dumping dioxin day and night for years. One plus one makes two. No need to do some study to prove it. Many residents accuse the government and the plant's previous owners of willful negligence.